before we get into the video, you know, th this is my first time ever, like, reacting to something. Like, even though this wasn't a, a reaction video, it was just me watching. Like, this is my first time, so, like, I probably wasn't, like, you know, interacting that much or pausing it or doing, you know, the stuff that you're supposed to be doing. But, uh, you know, once I do this more, I'll get better. I'll get better. But, uh... Other than that, let's, uh, let's get into the video. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, that Italian Kid 5, come back at you with another video. Now, we're doing something a little bit different. We're not, you know, we're not playing no games or nothing today. We're going to do a Try Not to Laugh Challenge. Uh, Funny Marco, I love him. I think he's hilarious. I'm probably going to be laughing, like, the first, like, you know, probably this intro. Like, the first, like, 20 seconds I'm going to try to laugh. Because I, la I laugh at everything, you know, like, I love to laugh and all that. So, uh, you know, just, just a fun little video, just a fun little video, and uh, we're just going to, you know, press play, and we're going to get into the video, and try not to laugh, you know, just try not to laugh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let me call you right, right back, let me call you back. So, what you mean, I ain't wearing my shirt next time, bro. I got you. Yeah, that yeah, is that's definitely a no-no. You cannot answer a FaceTime call when you're on the interview. All these people see me. Everybody see me doing my thing. But you don't see me doing my thing. I do my thing. Everybody see me doing my thing. Do y'all your boy Funny Marco right now. We Okay, so far, so far, you know, I try not to laugh right there. But, uh, just, just, just hilarious. Just hilarious right there. I can't wait to watch the video. I haven't seen this video yet. I haven't seen this video yet. But we're watching the worst job interview ever prank in an upscale restaurant. And... We'll see, we'll see. We'll Back see. again at Nuvo. This is the owner. So basically we got a job interview. We about to prank her brother. Make sure y'all come to the restaurant. And you think it's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be good. That was dry. She's like, I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> but look, man, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm at the dress up in my character. And let's see how we act when I come in there being so hood. And peep out the interview. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it. <sighs> Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. What's your name? Michael. Michael? Yeah. Hey, Michael, I'm Rob. I'm the GM over here at Nouveau Bar and Grill. Michael, mm -hmm. what's your last name? Rinse. 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 R-I-S-E-S-S. Son. Rinse on. O-N. Hold on. Let me, let's go back to the beginning of the spelling because I just messed your whole name up. No, that's fine. Rinse, R-I-N-S-S-E-S-S-O-N. Rinse, son. I don't even know, that's my daddy last name. Okay, okay, Michael Rinse. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, first of all, what brought you to Nouveau? Uh, the hiring sign, and it's, I know a couple of people that told me about the place, and y'all had a, y'all hiring for cooks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so tell me. That's what I do. I'm, I'm a cook at a pizza shop. You know, I'm kind of, kind of the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm a cook at the pizza shop. What about your experience as a lot um, of I worked a lot of places from, you know, Popeye's. I was a shift leader. And with the Popeye's, I used to do it. Bro, what is he? <laughs> what what I is used to cook that? For the, um, I was a head chef. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I was a head chef when it comes to uh, with Popeyes. This I washed dishes and uh, I did seasoning chicken, and with chicken we had different type of chicken. And then with the chicken, it was it was depend on what type of day it was, cause you know weekends be busy, right? And weekdays are busy, so I was a weekend cook, cause I was the top one. And when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to the weekend, they had me doing a lot of that. So basically, yeah. So I'm just looking for an opportunity to come up and I see it's a good restaurant and I can learn a lot and I can bring a lot because where I'm from, I came from a terrible place. Okay. Right. And that's just all really when it comes to it. Like everything is just calm down to. I already lost. I mean, I already left. I already lost. But, you know, we're just going to keep, keep watching the video because, oh, hilarious. Like, like hilarious. Is it? Fireworks and everything like that. Okay, so you kind of said a couple of things. You said you were the head cook at Popeyes, but mm -hmm. you only worked on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, how were you the head cook if you only worked on the weekends? No, nah, because I, I it, it was like the schedule. That's how they set it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, what are the hours that you would be looking for if you were coming to work with us? 
توجہ گیا ہو گئے Well, for our line cook positions, we have several slots that are open. We have our early slots. I can't do it. I can't come in too early. Not too early because I'll be doing a lot of stuff when it comes to early and I'm not an early person. Uh-huh. I'm like a night shift. Y'all got a third shift? Uh, no, we, we close at like 10 p.m. So we only right. have two Okay, shifts. that's fine. Like if I can come in from what, like, what, what shift? Like 3 to 10? Yeah. That'd about, be, per- that'd be perfect. And like I said, it's, it's the car situation that comes in. <laughs> you okay? We need Mike with, okay? with the car with the car situation we got like cars and they come in at different times and my, my me and my baby mama share a car. So she get it sometimes and I get it sometimes. So if you understand I'm coming from a dark place and I'm trying to get out of that. That's really that's all. Okay. Um so one of the things like you kind of want to keep to yourself when you're doing an interview is issues like that like as far as your car situation and everything mm-hmm. as an employer uh it's not good for you to tell me those things right off the bat mm-hmm. um especially when you're looking to get hired and then you're, you're saying right. you can only work certain times mm-hmm. you're telling me about the things that you did at... <laughs> um right yeah and, and... well i'm just saying see I, i don't hire people you know i'm just an employee but i'm just saying For him to not to be laughing right now is astonishing because if that happened to me, even if I was serious about the job interview, like if I was a serious, you know, like, uh, I don't know what you call it, hiree or whatever, I'd be laughing. I'd be smiling, laughing. It looks like he's smiling a little bit, but uh, I'd just be laughing. I, I could not, uh, to be so hilarious, just to, if that actually happened to me, if I ever hire people, but you know. We'll see, we'll see. And then the fact that you have on shades while we're doing this interview. Yeah, and I can take them off. I, can, yeah. I apologize. So I want to I want to make sure you understand that, you know, the business that we are running, yeah, and cocking your hat right now at an interview, mm. that wouldn't be beneficial to the yeah, hiring Yeah, it's just kind of like I'm from Atlanta, and that's what I just represent Atlanta. That's what I'm saying. It's an Atlanta hat. Oh. It's just, it's just like only okay. right that. It, it, it's, it's basically just... Do you, do you plan to represent Atlanta while working for Nuvo? Yeah, that was a question. Yeah, I'm just thinking. That's what I'm saying. Usually when you ask questions, you got to give somebody time to think. It's only right that I think, you know, it's only right that I can't just give you any type of answer when it comes to anything like that. Okay. And that's what I said. When it comes to it, like, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't mind. Like, it's not something I have to do. Like, you know, it just really don't. It's not really that deep for me. I'm, I'm confused. So no, I don't have to do that. For a job? Did you? I no, I want a job. I want a job. I like the environment. It's nice. Okay. And just anybody, I got good, good customer. How you doing? Excuse me. Could I ask, ask a question? So basically, I'm, no, I'm just, I know, I know, no, this is a manager. I was just saying, like, if you can let him know I'd be a good fit for the, What a job. I'm interviewing this young man and I'm trying to give him some advice on what he should and shouldn't do in an interview. Uh-huh. Um, as far as wearing a hat uh, <laughs> Why you laughing? and all those I'm things. Just, I'm just laughing at him because what he's saying. What, is it right though? Am I wrong? I'm just saying, should I not wear a hat during the interview? No, I mean, but nobody probably ever told you that, right? Right, nobody never told me that because I just got out of jail. Right, right. And that's what I'm saying. I don't even laugh, but right, it's right. just because I'm Right, did you just say he got out of jail? <laughs> you just said, I think you just said he just got out of jail. But it's cool, she kind of sticking up for him. She kind of sticking up for him, saying, oh, no, they never told him that. Kind of cool he's sticking up for her. Kind of cool that she's sticking up. Old school. Mm-hmm. And so in my generation, when a man come in the, in the room or in the building, he take off his hat. Right, But if right. nobody ever told you that, you would. Nobody never told me that. Nobody yeah. never told me that. And that's really his fault. Right, right. And that's why I'm trying to give him some tips. Some tips on what he's. Did she, she just say maybe he's bald? He's bald. What is, what is she on about? Oh my gosh, all this is so funny. I love Should that. Do. Because at this point, I don't know if you would fit with the nouveau no, environment. No, and I fit. It depends. Like, I'm fit. I, I work out. No, no, And that's no, all no. I was I asking. Fit. That's why, thank you. That's all I was asking. Yeah. I don't mean fit as in fit in shape. Yeah, I mean yeah. fit in the nouveau culture. Yeah. Um, cause we, we have high Not cause like I'm saying when it comes to a lot of things, my brother keep calling me, hold on. One moment. 
Yo. What's up, where you at? I'm at the job interview. <laughs> nigga? Let me see, let me see what you got on, sir, nigga. Yeah, I just put it on for the interview. I ain't had no shirt. Well, you didn't ask me first. You know I'll let you wear my shit, but you gotta ask me first. I know. That's what I said. I'm. Huh? You said you were the interview? Yeah, I'm with him right now. This him right here. I think they hired him. Hey, I hey. Tell him, tell him uh, say what's up. Hey, he said what's up. Nigga down bad. Nigga get that stimulus check, huh? Yeah. He said y'all are y'all hiring. What are y'all hiring for? I think currently we're not hiring. Mm -hmm. um, you what? Y'all hiring? Yeah, That's what. Ask him if I can hire, do like custodian work. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what he's saying. Let me see. What do you say? Ask him. Ask him if they got like custodian work. I could do. I could just clean the restroom on the weekends or something. Mm hmm. I'm yeah, about to talk to um, him. He, he calls it. Let me call you right, right back. Let me call so you back. Wait, 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 that is disrespectful yeah, that's to the business. That is disrespectful to me as I'm trying to hire Yeah, he called me three times. Work. He called me three. That, that, that's not my concern. That's not my concern. And I understand that, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm totally trying to, I'm trying to offer you something that could possibly change your life and you're disrespecting yeah. it. By I'm a changed man. I'm a changed man because like I said, I came from a really dark place. And like I said, we didn't have our lights on. So we had no choice but to be dark. <laughs> I just had a conversation with you about personal issues, keeping them. No, to but I'm trying to let you relate where I come from. Okay, but I'm trying. And to you can't get business. upset with me about I'm not that. You can't. Upset. I'm trying to let you understand, like, yeah, mm -hmm. when you're going forward, mm -hmm. and say, for instance, the next place you go for an interview at. Yeah, so this can't. Y'all can't. Uh, this is probably my last place because I should. I'm a good fit here, and I see y'all busy. The cooks back there. I see y'all. Y'all got nice water. I can clean dishes. I can start off outside watching the park a lot. It really don't matter to me. <laughs> I, 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 well, I do like your energy. Right, right. Um, I like the fact that you're willing to do any job. Mm -hmm. What I'm not understand. <laughs> no, my ear be itching. But yeah, that's what I said. Just so. Wow. Um, so where you from? Have, Are you from? Where you from? I'm from Chicago. Right. So you understand that? I do What's your daddy name? That is not of your concern. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you, <laughs> what is of great concern to you, would be presenting yourself in a. In a what do pre way. What do the present present mean? So, present. for example, I'm going to just give you a couple of things that you can take and take heed to. Mm -hmm. When you're coming into a job, and when it comes to heat, what type of heat you talking? <laughs> that's what I'm saying because it's, I understand you from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so everyone from Chicago is not packing heat. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes and they're running and, tell, a and then that's what I want to say. Thank you, ma'am, for telling me that because I never knew nothing about that. This might be a good time to teach him something. Yeah, that's what I'm I said. I just, I, want, I, I, I just want him to teach me something. That's yeah, it. That's and that's it. the thing. He got to give me a chance. Like I told him, I can start working today. I'm a good dude. I do a lot for the community. I lost a lot. I lost a lot where I come from. You know? You and the fact that, yeah, I need a chance. And then people just, they overlook me because I'm real. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. I do a lot for the community. I'm a good dude. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. And then he said, I, I ain't a good fit. Like, how you know you didn't give me a day or three days, you know? Give him a chance. Like, I just, that's what I'm saying, just a chance. See, she a real one. She told to just give him a chance. Oh, there we go. You got big off the girl. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Coming like, I ain't gonna rob the place. I, I stole from a job before. That's why I got fired before. <laughs> I'm not stealing no more. <clears throat> At this point, I think you are uh, disturbing my patrons. Am I disturbing you, man? No, okay. See, that's what I'm okay. saying. We're not Thank disturbing. Thank you so much. No, Thank it, you for your patience. And that's why I said it's just like it's it's only right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm and like I said, where y'all safe? Because I don't gotta be safe. I don't gotta be by the safe. I don't have to be by it. What part of Atlanta are you from? This is Zone Six. I mean, okay. Like I said, so let me let me let me let, can I can I ask you a couple of things because I was I would, nobody never really care. I would love to give you opportunity, but at this point, so when can I start? You you cannot, you cannot. You didn't even do a background check. It, 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 I, with the interview you're giving me, I don't think I need to do a background check. You've talked about robbing the place that you stole from previous places. That you okay, okay. We're worked at Popeye's as a lead cook, but you only worked on the weekends, and you said right. your main job was seasoning chicken. All this stuff is a mindset. I can work the fire machine, and I can cook. I can I can talk to How a How long of did you work at Popeye's? Oh, let me see. Hold on. Let me call my mama. Huh? I'm about to ask, because I don't really... Hold on, wait. You please. don't know how long you worked there? 
Hold on. I'm calling her right now. Any calls? Hold on. Mama, how long I work at Popeye's? No. You don't remember? Uh -huh. Oh, that's what. But I did work there. Was I? Wasn't that a shelf? Was that a shelf up there? Wasn't I? Yeah. How long? Like for like five to ten years, right? Five to ten years. Now. Okay, let me call you right back. I'm call her back. Yeah. yeah, she don't know. She be talking about you know. But like I said. I ain't, I ain't really, like I said, I, I need to know if this a place, if this place is good for me. Cause I'm, I'm bringing talent. So what do y'all, what could y'all do for me in here? Jeez, he's an interview right now. There's beautiful people in here, beautiful women. Uh -huh. What can y'all do for me though? What, what I can do for you is forge your application to a different company and maybe try to get you in there because I just don't think that Nouveau Bar and Grill on Main Street will be the location for you. Well, I yeah, truly I get it. respect I get it. what you're I get it. saying. I get it. I see you're hungry. I get it. But there has to be a point. And you see I'm hungry. You ain't offer no food. You only <laughs> gave me a cup of water. And that was one of the, the things. You didn't offer me, though, I want like. You didn't offer me nothing to eat. Sir, you do understand that you're on an interview. And I understand on an interview, understand. you shouldn't be eating. You should. You should but you, you said you see my hunger, though. No, no, not. I see your <laughs> hunger for work. Your desire to be employed. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Can you please stop picking up your phone? Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm Why are you telling me what the... You know what? I'm good. It ain't even a good fit. I'll go. I'll go. And I appreciate your time because you... The way that you treat me, you did me bad. How, sir, I'm trying to give you advice on how You did me bad. You did me bad. And I rise. I'll go. I'm just saying you did me bad. And I'll go. Everybody in here. All these people see me. Everybody see me doing my thing. But you don't see me doing my thing. I do my thing. Everybody see me doing my thing. You see it? All right, we'll go. I'm doing my thing. I'm still doing my thing. Y'all, they see it. Everybody see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, that, I mean, that was the end of the video right there. You know, pretty funny. I mean, if I was ever an interviewee, interviewing somebody for a job, you know, you know, I... I think that would be pretty funny. I probably never hire him, to be honest with you. I probably never would. But, you know, that was pretty funny. You know, this was a nice, a fun, you know, little video. Stuff like that to do. Fun. Little filler video. So we get the games back going and stuff like that. But it was fun. It was fun. But, uh, it was funny, Marco. I'll link in the description for his video and stuff like that. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, make sure you guys know, like, subscribe, share, comment. See you guys next time. Peace.